Now, as you approach week seven and eight, this is where some sort of comfort can start to kick in. Now, motivation will begin at the very beginning of the strong phase, and as you can see, motivation was going really high. But as you progress, it is completely normal that motivation can start to drop and, and compl complacency can start to kick in, right? So this is now the point where you need to ask yourself, are you really being strict on yourself? Are you doing the certain things that's what you're wanting to achieve for your goals? This is the part now where I want, to, want you to go into your file and I want you to go into and see exactly why that you started and what was your commitment level. This will now start to pick your game back up so then you're right again to go back on track towards your goals. Um, it can be really easy for you to be complacent at this part. We can be, become quieter in our Facebook group. Uh, you might not be tracking as diligently as you were at the start and you know we can start to go through the motions. This is the part now where I'm just gonna say like toughen up and I want you to get back on track and I want you to tighten things up. So if there's something in the moment right now that I want you to think about what is one thing that you can do to tighten up that you weren't doing previously that's gonna help you get towards closer to your goals? Just one thing. Think about that, what could it be? It may be, okay, I wanna get closer to my protein. I know I haven't really been eating my protein as much as I really should be, then I'm gonna make sure that I'm actually hitting it and I'm staying within five grams of that number. Maybe it's your steps. You know, maybe you're like, you know what, I haven't been as strict on my steps as I really need to, or as I should be. This, this week now, I'm really gonna nail my steps, and my target is 10,000. I'm gonna make it a minimum of 9,500 steps every single day, without fail, no exceptions. So this is the part now that I really need you to be honest with yourself and just think, am I really working hard towards the goals that I set myself, okay? And this is the part now where it can be complacent, but I need you really to be strong and hard on yourself and give you a good kick up the ass, so to speak, all right? So we need to make sure that we're now focusing on getting good habits. Habits such as you know looking at trying to increase our sleep um, or looking at trying to improve our nutrition. Maybe we wanna have, um, try and include more fruit into our diets, more vegetables. And remember that there's certain things that I'm gonna be giving you in your check-ins as well to kind of give you little tips that to keep progressing, right? So what we wanna do is we wanna make this part of your lifestyle. This isn't just a, a diet, a 12-week diet and a start and a finish. What I want to try and teach you is lifestyle habits. So then this is factored into your, life, your everyday lifestyle so you can keep going as you keep progressing, okay? So, you know, maybe it is increasing your fruit. Maybe it is getting some better sleep. Maybe you, it is, you know, increasing your daily expenditure by walking more or going for three walks a week, you know, with your significant other. Or maybe you wanna go and take the dog for a walk. Like, make these consistency habits, okay? Now, the another part of what I want to, to do with you is make a little bit of a piece of homework, right? So, what I want you to do is I want you to set yourself three goals that you wanna achieve this week. And I want you to have it on a piece of paper. And I want you to do goal number one, and then I want you to have an empty box. Goal number two, empty box. Goal number three, empty box. And I want you to achieve these goals by the end of the week. What I want you to do is I want you to write them up, put it on the fridge or somewhere that's very visible to see for, with other people around that can see it in your house. And I want, when you achieve that goal, I want whoever you're living with to tick that box off. Because what this is gonna do now is gonna keep you accountable because you have someone in your household that you have to answer to. It's very easy for us if we don't have the accountability and we can just go through the motions and you know, and we can be comfortable with ourselves, you know, like, oh well, you know, I missed the training day, doesn't matter. Oh well, I'll just move on to next week. It's not okay, right? I need you to get back on track. So maybe it is, I wanna make sure that I am hitting three days a week of training because last week and the past couple of weeks, I've only been going for two. So then I want you to do goal number one, training day one. Goal number two, training day two. Goal number three, training day three. And start to get someone to tick those boxes off so then you are being accountable uh, for that. So please be honest with yourself. Give, you, give yourself a kick up the ass if you need one. Reach out to me if you need me as well because I can also give you a good kick up the ass. Make sure that everything is getting back on track. If you feel like you have been slipping up, please don't think that you know, it's too far behind because it's not. I'm here to help. We can get back on track. 
if you need help in finding other little consistency habits or you know just trying to find some small things to get you get the ball rolling again then just reach out to me or reach out to the girl 